So we all know beauty brands claim the most random crap about their products, right? And the beauty industry doesn't crack down on claims as much as we think they would. Some claims aren't so wild, but some are pretty wild. <laughs> one in particular, one claim in particular is a huge, huge scam. And I see it everywhere all the time, especially on things like TikTok shop, people who link it to Amazon, color changing or color adapting foundations, right? Hmm. <sighs> Now we're not talking these like blushes, like the blush that adapts your pH and changes slightly in tone. We're not talking about those, we're talking about actual foundation that claims that it can adapt to your personal skin tone, your exact skin color. These are a huge scam. Color changing foundations, also known as color adapting or one shade fits all, are foundations that claim to adjust to match the wearer's skin tone on application, right? So we apply it, it comes out like a cream, a white cream. We apply it and after rubbing, it adapts to our skin tone. And while these kind of products seem, you know, intriguing, especially if you've been unable to get a good color match for the longest time, they are very heavily criticized by industry professionals and consumers in general for a very good reason. These foundations can sometimes work for a very select few number of people. I mean, very few people because they all have a very similar skin tone. That's the reason why, really. Telling us to try the color changing foundation. Y'all should do a video on color changing foundation that spams my news feeds. I'm curious if it actually works. I've never heard of color changing foundation. It starts out lighter than it's supposed to be and then it ma darkens to match your skin tone. It starts out white and then it's supposed to change. That's so risky. <laughs> it's very risky. All right, so this is the foundation. Ooh, it's from TLM. TLM, it's actually, I ordered it off Amazon. I think that this isn't terrible, but not ideal on my face. You can see a lot of redness. It's not quite the right undertone. It's not quite as much of a disaster for me because I am white. It's still like a little bit off, but I feel like if my full face was in it, you'd be like, okay, like she looks a little tired, but like she has foundation on. So I just look ashy. It's truly, I was more alarmed when I put it on my hand than I am when I look in the mirror. So, you know. I want to go through a few reasons why these don't work. If any brand tries to sell them to you, if anyone tries to sell them to you, if you've used one and it's not working, let's just talk about them because they scam scam this is why you should avoid them at all costs don't waste your money just before we get into it go ahead and subscribe give this video a thumbs up and comment down below um something comment something <laughs> first reason being right limited shade range let's take for example one of the most popular ones that i see online all the time is the tlm color changing foundation that claims on the Amazon list and some quite, um, quite some claims, including this, match most skin tone. Color changing foundation is a new type of concealer. <laughs> so that's two separate products. That can be automatically adjusted to suit your skin tone in real time. Suitable for most skin tones. So as the makeup is thoroughly blended into the skin, it intuitively, listen to this, right? It intuitively transforms to your skin tone for all day natural looking color in your perfect shade. However, in the pictures that we display on this listing, it only features these select few shades, but also in an image that shows later on in the same listing, it also shows somebody with a deeper complexion than any of the shades in the previous image. This limited shade range, right? Like these five colors, cannot, it is impossible, cannot cater to all skin tones. And we'll talk more on it, but it, it absolutely cannot. Can it fit those medium skin tones? Absolutely. Are you light to medium? <laughs> <laughs> that and probably have a yellow undertone, great, sorted, you're good. But as a result of this, people buy these products and realize that actually it doesn't suit their skin tone at all. Actually, they're quite terrible. My second reason would be inconsistency in the results, even if you find it does work for you the first time round. So the supposed color changing properties of this foundation often rely on ingredients that react with a pH in your skin. Not all the time though, There's, it's very rarely it does this. But these reactions can be potentially unpredictable and give you an inconsistent color match. So even if you try it and you like it, you're like, you know what, this looks really good on me, today? How about tomorrow? How about the next day? What if it's slightly deeper than it was the day before? What works for one person one day might not work the same the next day, leading to inconsistent results. Meaning this foundation could be a different color on you 
every single time you use it. And that's on like the mismatched undertones in these products. The light medium dark isn't the only factor that plays into having a perfect color matching foundation. It's also skin undertone and there's loads of different undertones, right? So we, we have the, you know, yellow, red, neutral, but there's also blue in some people's skin tone. There's also olive. Color changing foundations, color adapting foundations cannot adapt to your undertone. And again, we'll talk a little bit more on this. It can't do it properly, so it's gonna lead to a really mismatched color match. Let's get into it, right? The lack of customization. These products claim that they can sit in your face and give you a custom color finish, personalized more really to your skin tone. Unlike, you know, traditional foundations that often give us a wide range of skin tones and skin depths, skin undertone, color adapting foundations offer little to no customization options at all. Users of the product have limited control over the actual product, the final color, the final look, making it challenging to achieve what the final look you want a good color match okay let's let's talk about what makes a color match um what makes a foundation your perfect match what goes into making a foundation that a brand can have a shade that's suitable for everyone right undertones let's talk about undertone warm cool olive and as I said earlier, there's even more. We have some blues, we have grey sometimes in the skin. Then the depth of that undertone, right? So we choose our undertone, we're warm, but how deep or how light are you on that scale of warmth, right? And then let's think about how these foundations are made. Not the colour changing ones, a regular foundation. Let's think about colour theory and how colour is made in general, mixing colours together. We have three primary colours, magenta, cay cyan, I always say cayenne, and yellow. People don't say they're primary colours, some people say they do, because then we have the false primary, right? Which is, or what's considered false primary. A lot of time you can just call them primary. So you have to mix those colours to get those colours. Then you can mix the primary colours to make a secondary colour. Then you mix the secondary colours to make a tertiary colour. <laughs> so there's, <laughs> there's so many different depths and levels to, to creating colour. And then we have black and white, which make grey. So black and white and grey all together change the depth of of that shade, the tone. So for foundations to truly match our skin tone, all of that needs to be taken into consideration. The undertone, how light or dark we are on that scale of undertone. We need all of that to truly have a perfect foundation match. So if we think about it from that way, these color changing foundations or these color adapting foundations would need to encapsulate all those options it would then have to read your skin tone to match the undertone, the depth of the undertone, and so on. But to reach just those two results, you need all those initial colors also. Like when you mix paint, right? You take a color into like a paint place and you're like, can you make this for me? And then it mixes all the colors depending on that image. Unless these products do have all these colors within this, this product, and then it can magically read how your skin looks that day then it would work. However, they don't, do they? Let me tell you how they really work. I always describe it really badly. I always say it's balls of colour that burst, which is kind of true, really. But I have this from um, hailcosmocutical.com. They give a really, really good definitional description of how these work. And this is the same for some like BB and some CC creams. Those products that have a really basic medium, you know, kind of thing that come out like cream and then adapt to your skin tone. Encapsulated colour formulas. So imagine a ball with a shade inside, just one shade, that's it, right? And they can have different shades of balls in it, but one ball will hold one shade. Separate the color pigment from an uncolored base product, such as a moisturizer. The color is coated with an oil or gel, which holds the pigmentation suspended, giving the foundation an initially gray or white color. When the foundation is rubbed into the skin, the coating of the color pigment is broken, releasing the colored pigment. Why does it look like it blends with your skin even if it isn't matching your exact skin tone? The more you blend, the more pigment you release. If you see your skin is still looking too pale, you're going to try blending your foundation into your skin. This will further the pigment's release. So basically, imagine a moisturizer. Please excuse my dry lips, they're so bad recently. I'm um, sorry. Within those balls is a pigment. When you rub the product, the white ball bursts and then the colors inside and you rub it in. 
Now, of course, this pigment can adapt with pH very slightly, but that's all it does. Again, it has no intelligence in terms of reading your skin tone. And that leads me into marketing claims, right? These brands that pop these out act as though it's some revolutionary new ingredient, new kind of like formula they've discovered, and it's really not. They'll be like, oh, magical, color-changing pigments adapt to your skin tone when they don't. <laughs> if you want to go down this simple route of, you know what, I can't find a perfect color match, but I really want something that is suitable to my skin tone, a BB cream, a CC cream really is the way to go. Not a lightweight foundation that a lot of brands kind of market their lightweight foundations as BB creams. You can go light, medium, dark and just have it sit on your skin. Would it be exactly your skin tone? No, but it'd be a more reliable version when you try it than a color adapting foundation, which is basically just greasy skincare. And a lot of the time, che cheaply and poorly made. Overall, while color adapting, color changing foundations may work for some individuals under specific conditions, they are generally considered gimmicky and unreliable by many consumers and beauty experts as well. Flat out overall advice, be super critical of these color changing products. If you want a perfect match, you have to go for those brands that have all the shades, not just the one, two, three, and it adapts to your color. The price point can be enticing because some of them are very, very affordable, but would a price point that is very low like five pounds, five dollars, for example, have such amazing color changing technology in it that is better than everyone else's? No. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I just had to get out there because I've seen it a lot on social media recently. People acting like, wow, with these color changing foundations and they're usually linking it to their Amazon storefront or their TikTok shop. Please don't fall for it. It is really not, they're not good. <laughs> in any way. Thank you so much again for joining me. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.